Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Road to Masters here. This is episode 9, I believe. And yeah, we're back at it again with some more solar power content. As you guys love it. So yeah, we're just going to just get straight into it. You know, no messing around here. We're going to get some dubs once again. We've been on a quite a bit of a win streak, I would say, in terms of on video, off camera though. Like, it, the luck hasn't been going well. I haven't played since the last episode, which was like yesterday. So yeah, hopefully we can just keep this uh, win streak going right now. And hopefully find a game soon. Uh, I think matchmaking time will slowly start to increase the higher we get up. So, yeah, I might be doing cuts once again. But, yeah, back at it again with Solar Power League, guys. I've been just loving Solar Power League. I feel like it's so fun, uh, especially at the rank I'm at, where it's just you never you never get, like, the perfect teammates. And that's why I like playing it, because you have to, like, work work really hard to get the win and stuff. And MM time's not too long. So, as you see right now, we found the game here. And uh looks like we're playing this... Uh, Hot zone map, Trimavirate, or I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a weird map, but yeah, let's just... Okay, when we get a first pick here, hopefully we get some uh, good bands going our way. Is the most important thing here. Looks like Bell Band is going to be from our side, which is pretty good, you know. I'm happy with that. This map is just all about control here, and you could go a bit of aggro as well. So looks like they're going to ban Amber. So I have the pleasure of picking the first Brawler here. Now, what do I want to pick? I probably want to pick... Maybe a B or a stew. I think stew's just an like overall solid choice here. So, yeah, we can't go, really go wrong with a stew. So, I'm going to just play stew here and uh, hope for the best. Because the only thing that counts as stew is just like Tara. Tara's decent, to be fair. And uh, a Rust as well. Rust is decent against stew, which is what I found out recently. So, hopefully, we get some luck going our way here. And, okay, okay. they go a Crow and a Tara, which is not bad. Crow's decent, but not the best. Looks like our teammate wants to go Jesse. Jesse, I'm completely fine with guys. Jesse just. Super, super strong right now, and I feel like Jesse is in a really good place in the meta, where not overpowered, not underpowered, just about right. And if you play it to a high standard, Jesse can be really, really strong. So, he's going to go pick Jesse here. Ems, Ems is decent to go, especially against Atara. I feel like Ems is, like, really, really good. Uh, I do not want you to go Barley. Please do not go Barley. Barley's not the best here, I'm pretty sure, because... Oh, he went Barley. I don't even know. There's just, there's just no walls. It's just all pretty much open here, but... You know, let's see what our teammate does. Unless he just goes, like, on the right side in that grass area. But, yeah, let's just see what we're going to do. I probably want to go zero drag or heal. I probably want to go heal here. Heal's just really, really good. Just keep Stu alive for so long, especially if you're good at spamming your auto-aim. Or just you know, spamming the dash is just uh, really, really strong here. So, yeah, let's see what we can get going here. And uh, I'm probably going to go for the mid zone or the top zone. I feel like Bali's going to go right. I mean, uh, bottom right. And that's exactly what I figured. Yep, so... I'm going to just put that down there. Okay, we need to just win our lane right now is the main thing. There we go. And uh, there we go. We get some nice kill there. Ah. Okay, we stayed alive there. And we managed to play that really, really well here. So, Tara's going to respawn it. I'm going to get a bit of percentage going our way here. I'm going to just go completely up. Just playing my mind here. There we go. One, two. And we get the kill there again. And I don't know what this Tyra's doing. Tyra just can't seem to win lane against me here. Tyra does have one more set of gadget here. So we just have to be very, very careful. Uh, let's see if we can get some more hits on this Tyra here. Tyra's going to be just very, very weak, I think. There we go. And, oh, okay. So Tyra did manage to take us out. Tyra might die, actually. I think Tyra's going to be one shot. And uh, Tim going to be struggling here. I'm going to just put this uh, speed turret down for him to use. Or her. Um, I don't know where Tyra is. Tyra's probably going to be here. Yeah, Tyra's going to be here. Played that really well there, guys. And we just absolutely wrecked our lane there. There we go. And we're just going to keep dashing. Keep dashing. Do we get the kill? Oh, we don't get the kill there, guys. And the top zone is a little bit left here. And that's that looks like is what we need. So I'm going to just jump straight up. And he's not going to expect it here. So as he's right now, we're going to be just dashing in his face. Didn't get quite the heals going. And yeah, that didn't quite work out. Sandy's going to be using another gadget. I think Sandy has zero gadgets left. Uh, I need to just try and take out this Sandy here. There we go, there we go, and we managed to heal up so much, guys, and we did get the kill, and we should be getting the victory here, guys, and there we go, we do get the dub there, really well played by the teammates, they, you know, the body pick actually worked out well, I assumed that he would be going bottom right, and yeah, it just managed to work out really well, so, heading into the next round, I'm gonna push, put my speed turret here straight away, because I feel like I did leave it a bit too long here, so there we go, I'm gonna be just giving him the speed turret, and Tara can get on the zone straight away, and there we go, we managed to get that going. Okay, we're going to just take out the pets here. And Jess is going to get the first kill, which is great to see. 
Oh, okay, we're gonna get taken out here. That was a bad mistake by me. Jesse just needs to probably hit one shot there. But Jesse does go down. We're gonna just help him get the mid zone there. We're gonna get a kill. There we go. And uh, we're gonna help him get the kill again, maybe. Okay, it's gonna be one shot. I'm just playing that bit passive here, so... Oh, okay, we're gonna get taken out again. Jesse's gonna be looking very, very weak. Bali needs to help him out there, guys. And I don't know how we're looking so far, but as long as I just help my teammate here, we should be good, I feel like. All right, we're gonna get slowed again. Uh, let's see if we can get our... Uh, okay, we're gonna get taken out again. Stanley's gonna hop on the mid zone, guys. Tara's been going very, very aggro here. Bali's probably gonna get taken out. And I think that's our chance to go for this top zone here. And we need to just make sure we defend there. And they're just going to get the mid zone here. We're going to get the kill. Tyra's going to try and defend this. Tyra has two more sets of gadget, if I remember correctly. Or one. There we go, guys. Thanks for the heal, buddy. There we go. And we're going to take him out. I don't think he has any more sets of gadget. We do need to defend here. I don't know why Bali managed to come up here. That's actually uh, not the smartest strat. By the Bali. Bali's going to be realizing that and is going to be going back. If they die, I need to probably go back here. And I think we might actually get the lead as long as Jesse stays alive here. Jesse needs to stay alive. It's really, really important here. And uh, we do have the lead here now. And I need to just get on this middle zone here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just spamming that. I'm going to healing up so much, guys. And we should be able to pick up the victory here. There we go, guys. We played really, really well, guys. But heading into the next game. Here we go, guys. Into the next game here. And uh, as you see right now, we're playing some Minecraft Madness. Not a big fan of this map. I don't mind it, but... I just feel like this map is just so messed up in like different ways here. So as you see it right now, uh, we're going to be banning Bell, which is good. They're going to be banning Max. So no Gene Max, but we could go something like an 8-bit. 8-bit I wouldn't mind at all, uh, but probably need the Byron pick as well. But let's see what he's going to pick. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind him going 8-bit. So let's see what we can get going here. We're looking towards, oh, okay. We get the, we get the combo here. So I'm going Byron as well. And then hopefully our teammate goes like a Crow or like a Sprout or a Sandy. Something controlling would work really, really well with this comp. Yeah, but they're, they're, looking, they're probably going to go Gene Crow. They might take the Crow themselves here. Or Ruffs. Ruffs would work with their comp as well. But whatever it is, we should be fine with. So yeah, I'm feeling confident. But yeah, let's just see what they pick. They're going to pick an Amber. Uh, Amber is good against 8-bit. They're going to go Sandy as well. So yeah, they're looking to get some sort of aggression onto us here and... Hopefully our teammate picks something good. Crow, yes, please. There we go. We've got a really, really good comp, guys. This comp is really good and uh, competitive as well. So that's how you know it works really well. They don't really have much heals to work with here. So I'm going to just use Injection here. So my attacks do pierce through the enemies. So that would be good for us. And so, yeah, let's get this game going here. All I need to do, guys, is just heal my teammates. Play very, very passive is just the way to play this. And uh, let's see if we get some good first shots in. There we go. Get one shot there. Nice, got some early, early tags. I need to just heal my 8-bit now. 8-bit, you need to go aggro, buddy, because you're not going to die. Crow's going to get taken out here. 8-bit did not go aggro, which is really, really bad for us. But there we go. I need to just heal up a little bit. Uh, we're probably going to get taken out here, I think. Oh, no, I'm just going to get hit by turret. I mean, not turret, train. And he's going to get taken out. There we go. So that's good for us. There we go. I'm going to tag the gene as well. We're going to be just waiting here a little bit as well. I don't know where Amber is. Amber's going to be back on the lane. There we go. We're going to take out the Amber as well, guys. Taking really good control of the map is very, very key. And uh, we're going to be just healing this 8-bit up. Not a best turret position. I think he panicked a little bit there. But it works. So, okay. His turret's going to be not on fire, actually. So, okay. His turret's going to get taken out, though. And uh, we need to just tap up this Amber again, guys. Amber's going to be just struggling a little bit there. And, okay. I don't know how I didn't manage to take him out there. Which is very bad. Uh, okay, I missed my splash as well. And I'm just healing up this 8-bit uh, here. 8-bit can't get pulled, guys. I'm probably going to get taken out. Okay, not Crows does really well there, actually. We're going to get taken out here, yet. Yeah, but 8-bit, he can hold the fort down. He probably could get both of the kills if he really wanted to. But there's nothing to rush here. So I'm going to be just healing him up to max HP. Turret stays alive, which is really good to see. And But I'm probably going to get taken out. Hopefully gets the kill there. There you go. He gets a nice little kill, guys. And we are slowly losing the amount of gem lead we had. But as long as we keep the control, we should be fine. Uh, 8-bit is going to go for a TP probably. There we go. And uh, he's going to get taken out. Hopefully he TPs back. There we go. Nice little TP. Oh my god, he needed that by the minecart. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. We should be looking good, guys. And there we go. We get a nice little setup here. I'm going to be just waiting for the shots. There we go. Going to take him out. Going to just tank. There we go. Doing really well, guys, and that's basically how you play Byron 8-Bit Crow on this map, guys. It's just the best comp on this map, I would say. G-Max is also 
good as well. I feel like Gene Max is just underwhelming when it comes to playing against a Baron Abit. Because Baron Abit is just such a, such a good combo here. I don't think he can beat it. So that's why I feel like this comp is really, really good. And let's just try our best and replicate what we did last game here. I'm probably going to go lane here right now and get some nice taps on this Amber. There we go, guys. Just moving diagonal across him, just strafing our way into the kills. And Amber's going to get caught on the minecart. I don't know how Amber didn't die, actually. Oh, we can't get that shot on. That was actually really bad on me. That should have been a guaranteed kill. So, yeah, we played that quite poorly. I need to just heal my crow up, I'd say. There we go. Let's heal him up a little bit. Let's help him win his lane. Okay, he's going to be slowing down the Sandy here. And the minecart's actually going to knock him down, I think. There we go. He's going to be one shot here now. And uh, there we go. We get a tag here, guys. I think he should be dead. And uh, so is our crow, I think. There we go. Crow's going to be taken down. But he did manage to get a good trade for us to work with here. There we go, guys. 8-Bit's going to be going in ham. 8-Bit's going to be dying again. We didn't manage to get the kill there. And uh, I think Gene's going to be somewhere close. There we go. Gene's going to be there. Nice little slow by the crow again, guys. Crow's playing absolutely well. And uh, hopefully he doesn't just overestimate here. Okay, he's going to come back, guys. He's playing it very, very smart. This is what I like to see from my teammates here. And we just got to wait it out a little bit there. Going to be... Okay, they look like they're going to give up, guys. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, guys, Byron 8-Bit is just super, super strong. You can't really beat it. I don't know what this 8-Bit's doing. 8-Bit just come back. There's nothing to uh, play about with. But I'm just healing him so he doesn't die in case. But yeah, guys, we're looking forward to get the dub. I do get taken out, though. Abit's going to be able to pick up the gems, and he's going to be falling back. Uh, I do have my heals as well, so let's see if I can just keep up the aggression here. So hopefully they can't stop countdown, but it looks like they're not going to be playing the game anyways, guys. So we're going to be looking very good here. Let's see how much value I can get out of these. So there we go. Guys, so we're going to be getting the win for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let's just have a look at our rank, guys. There we go. Getting close to Mythic 2 there. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.